Okay, so basically, mom made me go to this church until I was about 14, right? Okay. That was my Christmas gift, chronically. <laughs> no, seriously, that was like the best Christmas gift of that year. Um, the thing about the church was, besides the whole, like, you know, taping positive messages to water would make the crystals look prettier, they just had this entire sense of because we don't, you know, preach against anyone, that makes us better than them inherently. <laughs> and then I said, there's no reason to think that. Basically, you you have just a smug sense of superiority that an evangelical Christian has, even if you're not actively telling people that of a different faith or a different sexual orientation that they're going to burn forever. You know? Like, they just had this attitude of their asses all the way up their own heads. I mean, at, ass, heads up their asses. That's the way. Yeah, yeah. Starting to get late. Yeah, it's only midnight, but... Yeah, so midnight. And then I asked my mom, how is, like, because she would always talk about how, you know, it's, it, my bitching about the church was, like, it's not as bad as when I was a kid, and I had to go to, <laughs> you know, mass every day, you know, entry school with the nuns. And I said, well, you know, it may not be as bad, but ultimately, your thought process is the exact same as your parents, you know? Because even though I'm not going into Catholic school, and even though the nuns, that, you know, the uh, the people at your church are not going to beat me with a ruler, <laughs> it's you, you have the same mentality about it. Because like I said, you never grew out of being a Catholic. Yeah, yeah, you know, not to bash on Catholics, but you know, it, according to my mom, that is the attitude. Well, yeah, I can believe with her growing up, you know, in the Midwest in the fifties. You know, yeah, totally. And then I said, and then she said, no, it's different because I'm not a Catholic. And I said, you don't. You're not this. I'm not saying you are Catholic. I'm saying you have the same mentality. Well, yeah. If you're talking about that smug superior mentality, that basically has to happen in religion. If you don't think your religion is better than another religion, you're gonna convert to that other religion, which is what makes basically all religion just so awful. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I'm actually not talking about that. I'm talking about the forcing your kid to go because you go. It's yeah. just. Patrick, you will do this because I say so. But, I'm talking about that mentality, not just the okay, yeah. superior. That's definitely, a, yeah, that's a good point. Well, that, you know, it's a defining characteristic of religion. You think you're better than everyone. You know? Yeah. There, there are certainly atheists who believe that same thing, too. Yeah. And I find it just as stupid coming from them. Yeah. But well, you know you are one. It's Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's just, not... It's not about the religion, it's about the mentality. You know, if you yeah. don't necessarily think that you're better than anybody else, that's just what you believe, and that's totally fine. Yeah. That's great. All the more power to you. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not an atheist because I've had evidence against God. I just don't see any evidence for God. Like, I'm, I never, I'm not saying I'm right, because there's really, I see there's no way to prove whether or not a God exists. Because even if, like, some, like, even if right now, Jesus would pop up right there, turn this Mountain Dew into wine... I would say, how do I know you're not an alien species who has monitored my brain for thousands of years fucking with me? <laughs> and then, you know, he would have to prove to me otherwise. He would have to do something literally impossible. He'd have to show me a square circle. You know, something that would prove that this is in no way obeying physical laws of the universe and therefore, by, you know, by definition, supernatural. Then I would believe. But because this has never happened to me and anyone telling me otherwise is just an anecdotal evidence that cannot be trusted. I see no reason to believe in God. It doesn't mean I'm right. That could the Romans be a God, but but yeah, I mean it's Patrick, like I love how understanding you are. <laughs> understand. <laughs> but yeah, I mean what you're talking about is an argument that's been going on for forever. It's the burden of proof, you know. And quite frankly, I agree. It has to be placed on the people that are trying to prove that God exists. Yeah, we're just saying there's no proof for it, so therefore we can't include it as a fact. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd say, I'd describe myself as an agnostic atheist, because, <laughs> like, agnosticism doesn't mean that you just don't know whether or not God exists. It, it actually means you don't believe you can know. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what, something I... That's I, what I, I am. Yeah. I ascribe to that. I'd say that I don't, like, I don't, I don't think it is possible to have evidence for God, and I don't believe in it. There's also, like, a, an agnostic theist, which is right. just, I don't believe it's possible to have evidence, but I believe in it anyway. Right. Which, you know, I don't see anything particularly wrong with that. With that view. Yes. Other than, I mean, sure, it's believing in some weird entity that, you know, really has no connection to you in any way, other than you've been told about him. Right. But it's it's not really damaging. What I When I say it's damaging is when you believe that this thing talks to you. Yeah. And you start, you know, you start, like, I've heard this a decent amount of times. Patrick, where, would you be mad if we put this on YouTube? No. Eh. Okay. Just wondering. It'd keep it keep it the fuck away from my family. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, they'd all stab me. 
Oh, okay. Catholics would stab me on my mom's side. The Protestants would stab me on my dad's. <laughs> but somehow I ended up with the atheist parents of both groups. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. <laughs> yeah. So as you were saying, where was wait, I? fuck. What were you saying? I don't know. Um, um, okay. People um, feel like God is talking to them. Yeah. yeah I'd say uh, you know when you start thinking that God is talking to you, and then you start. When you put your faith above what you see with your eyes, I think that's the point when it becomes damaging. Like, I've heard this, I, I forget the apologist, the Christian apologist who has said this, but the phrase... What are you whispering over there? Oh, what, do I just keep are you up? invoking spells upon us? No. <laughs> I feel like you might. No, what, he no what, magic. He <laughs> gone, demons. No, we're keeping it low. I will stab you with your sharp power. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? The power of Christ compels you. Oh, God, demons, be gone from me. God damn it, guys. I had I was saying something <laughs> really good. good. Okay. Um, we, were, we were just trying to keep it down okay, so okay, okay, the microphone okay. when, only picked up you and not okay. us. When it comes damaging. Um, oh, I, forget, I don't know the name of the Christian apologist who said this. I could probably look it up the second I get home on to, onto Google. But he said, if the Bible said Jonah swallowed the whale, I'd still believe it. <laughs> so you, you, you understand the, the you know, yeah. point of that phrase. Yeah. And I'd say that is just oh, yeah. it comes. Oh. disgusting. Oh, yeah. I'd say that is when I really, that is, that sums up everything I hate about religion. Yeah. In a nutshell. It's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like my relationship with religion over the years. What about you? Me, I really try and stay away from religion because I know no matter where I go, I'm gonna get people that hate me. If I'm atheist, I'm gonna get all religions that hate me. If I'm any religion, then all other religions and atheists will hate me. So I'm just like, well, you know what? Fuck it. I don't. Know. Nobody fucking knows. I surrender. I'm gonna stick to this one. You know? Yeah. So you don't have any religious belief at all, or? Well, I feel like I could and. Like, I would like to eventually subscribe myself to some religion, not like an organized religion, but to my own, you know, beliefs that mm -hmm. I eventually discover, you know, on my own. But I really don't want to take any other person's, you know, personal view on religion. Yeah. And if that belief eventually me is me just becoming an atheist, then so be it. Yeah. Um, thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. What is... Okay. Candy. So, yeah. I've seen so yeah, um, that's for later, I suppose. Yeah. When I've had a little bit more world experience. Yeah, I can, I can totally see where you're coming from, and I really do want to learn a lot more about mainly non-Western. Well, BRB religions. guys, Although, you know, a lot about that would be really interesting. Yeah. Uh, I already said BRB. Uh, you guys, my mom wants you to leave soon. Uh, okay. So give it another fifteen minutes. No, right, well, give, I've got. Give a give it another. Uh, give it to fifteen minutes. Okay, that's so nice. we got about seven minutes starting now. Okay. Um, that actually reminds me of something. Um. Mm -hmm. What I find rather, in a way funny and in the same way kind of sad, is how... Okay, so you've heard the phrase mil militant atheist to refer to, say, Christopher Hitchens, Richard Dawkins, uh, Sam Harris. Yeah. Or, you know, when you think of... Uh, because it's trying to put them on the same level as, you know, Christians and Muslims, even though it's entirely from do ballpark. Because, right. you know, one... Or atheism isn't religion, it's the complete lack of one. But There's, is it really a different ballpark? I mean, who cares what religion you're following if you're being violent about it? I mean, to me, I, it I, I, doesn't I, make it. It's not what I mean, though. I mean, okay. like, um, they try to characterize, you know, like, when they say militant atheist, they mean it in the same context as they mean a militant Muslim or a militant Christian. Yeah, a right. But what I find especially funny about that is a militant Muslim is one that blows up buildings and kills U.S. soldiers. A militant Christian is one who... Say in Uganda, uh, the case the killing of homosexuals, all right? Okay. Yeah. Or in the United States, blows up an abortion clinic. Right. A militant atheist seems to be one who writes books about God and, and gives sem seminars about why there's no evidence for. Him. Do you not see the, like logical disconnect here? I mean, no, I know, I totally know exactly oh, oh, oh. what you're talking about, and I think we should hold. I I totally agree. We should totally hold religions to the same standard that it, even if you're not being physically militant about it but you know you're being just nasty. violent yeah exactly just being totally nasty about it and being oh, no, i'm just I, i'm just i just mean like trying to shove it down people's yeah. throats exactly yeah i just mean it in the context of like what i would say a militant atheist would be is like this is you know an example brought up by religious people a lot of times to characterize why they find atheism so damaging to society and that's like they say stalin and hitler were atheists first off hitler not an atheist but that's a topic for a different day 
And Stalin was an atheist, there's no doubt about this. But he was not an atheist for the reasons a Christopher... Christopher I, just said, I was about to say Christopher Dawkins. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Dawkins. He's not the same reason... He's not an atheist for the same reason Christopher... God damn it. Christopher, <laughs> Christopher Hitchens. Christopher Hitchens is an atheist, all right? Okay. He's not the same... He's not, you know... He doesn't have the same rationale. His well, rationale keep getting, is that, that you know, he's ones, he has his own sort of life. faith, and that is basically installing installing himself okay. as a demigod to right. the Russian people. Right. And his method of doing right. that was destroying that. religion just, because you know it would challenge the state, and that was his oh, yeah. idea. Right. And it had nothing to do with personally not believing in God. He didn't, but yeah. he didn't say kill tens of millions of people because of that. I mean, like people say that. So atheists point to the religious wars of militant Muslims in the Middle East today and the Crusades, mm -hmm. right? And there's examples of religion being talked. And then, you know, the religious oh, come back oh, with, oh, yeah. what about Stalin? Oh, he was an atheist and he killed people. Oh, but God. the difference in that is that he didn't kill people because it was an atheist. I mean, right. if we just said them. any world leader who they kills people long. and happens to be a certain religion can be blamed on the religion, any war that has ever started since about the 500s can be blamed on Christian and, and Christianity. <laughs> you know, like... But the Crusades is different because that was done in the name of religion. Whereas, say, the war, like the, okay, the Hundred Years' War, not done in the name of religion, done in the name of government and control. Right. Which I, you no, know, the same reason that Stalin is, he didn't do what he did in the name of atheism, even though he was an atheist, is the same reason that um, the French and the English weren't fighting because they were Christians, they were fighting because they wanted control. Right, but even even acknowledging all of that, you still have to realize that even though Stalin didn't do what he did because he was an atheist, he still wanted to wipe out other religions, which is still horrible. I mean, yeah. you can't deny that. I mean, no matter what you do, that's going to be horrible. Well, yeah, and you know, I don't I don't how know if there are, I, I've yet to meet an atheist who that's both true. opposes a theocracy but would be in favor of a state atheist or state atheism. I find each despicable. I think real people need to have the freedom to what they believe. For what they believe. Even if I don't believe in a god, I wouldn't push that on other people because it can't be proved either way. There's no point in pushing that. And that's something I really find funny whenever people make the comment about like secular society and how depraved it is and how it destroys religion. But the point of secularity is to have nothing to do with religion, you know, one way or the other. Like, uh, Say, take Bill O'Reilly, who said that secularism was the cause of everything that Hitler and Stalin did. But, no. Yeah, but when you would, yeah, Stalin wasn't secular. If he was secular, he would have had no view on religion. Or the government would have, would have had no view on religion. He, he invoked state atheism, which is not a secular position. I know, right? It's like, look at the pogroms. Trying to say that he was secular and then saying that he, you know, invoked the pogroms, I guess, is... That is like the most contradictory statement you could yeah. really make. Yeah, someone who's secular is someone who... It's 13 minutes good. Guys, wrap it up. Okay. I know, we will. We will. I'm, this is my last talking point, I guess. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, Stalin was not secular. And you should not be characterized as being secular, because a modern secular nation is something like Norway. Whereas there is no establishment of... <laughs> Connor? Okay. Huh. Patrick, say goodnight. <laughs> right then, I guess we've got to uh, leave this now. Good night. Right. Good night, people. Which apparently this will be on. Whose channel is this being posted on? Mark 1800.